Now let's bring in Asmodor. All right. Asmodor, unmute yourself. You should be allowed to speak now, sir. Once you're unmute. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm doing better. Let me put it that way. I, I, I wanted to, uh, <clears throat> I've been meaning to message you. I wanted to apologize because we had set up uh, a private call and, and yeah. dude, my health got, my health got bad for a few days there. And like I slept for like 20 hours straight. So uh, my apologies, we'll, we'll get back together again in a few days. But, um, no, my story, you were playing the video of the, uh, of the black airman getting lit up by yes. the top. Yes. And, <laughs> I have a similar story. Fortunately, I was not shot seven times. However, <laughs> that is fortunate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, less than seven is always good. Um, <laughs> now back in, um, Oh, late 2020. And I was, I'm staying in this room in a really shitty part of town. Right. And I've been staying there several weeks. Right. I mean, it's like a place I've moved in. Right. And I've been staying there for several weeks. And I'm asleep at like three o'clock in the morning, right? And uh, all of a sudden, the loudest, most aggressive banging at my fucking door. And like, if you knew the neighborhood that I was in, you'd be like, "Oh yeah, don't answer that shit unless you know who it is, right?" Because like, I would, I would look out my um, uh, sliding glass windows at like three and four o'clock in the morning on Fridays, and in apartments across the way, like blacks would get into the they'd be having parties with like a couple hundred of them they get into these giant brawls at three o'clock in the morning where they were running back and forth between apartments and yeah. kicking doors in and stomping the shit out of each other and everything so uh, the but the beating and i'm like whatever that is i'm just ignoring it right <laughs> but the beating on the door continues and i go and i look through the peephole and there's nobody there and I look through the window beside the door and there's nobody there. And I look to the window to the side and there's nobody there. And I'm like, oh man, fuck this. Right. And I go, uh, and, and you know, I'm all up and alert now. Something fucked up is going on. Right. And, and I start, and I go like, I'm going to, I start putting on clothes instead of whatever I was wearing in bed and, you know, getting ready for some motherfucker to, kick my door in or something, right? Like run, run and rob me or something. And the banging on the door starts again. Bang, 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 bang. And the same shit. Look out everywhere I can look out and there's nobody there. And as soon as I walk away from the door, bang, 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 bang. And finally I was like, okay, I can't just let this go on all night. This is, I mean, dude, it went on forever. And I open up the door and stick my head out and I'm like, what? Who the fuck is it? And this little, about five foot five bitch whore cop comes walking out and says, tell Tracy to come out here. I was like, who the fuck is Tracy? And she's like, well, well I was told Tracy lives here. And I was like, I have lived here for three months and I don't know any fucking Tracy. And I, I, don't, I don't even remember how, the, how I figured it out, but it was a female named Tracy she was looking for, not a male, right? And, uh, and, and, and she stuck her head in my fucking door, like across my threshold and looked around and she realized, you know, whatever bitch she was looking for wasn't here and whoever I was, she had the wrong place or something. Right. But she was by herself, by herself at three o'clock in the morning in her fucking police uniform, banging on my fucking door, like with her billy club and hiding. And if I'd have come to that door with a fucking gun, which would have been perfectly reasonable, I'd have got my ass shot or I'd have shot her, right? With neither of which would have been good. Neither. But after she left and I got chilled down and calmed down for a minute, I figured it out. It has to be. This is some, this is some fucking dyke cop looking for her whore girlfriend. And the cops didn't know anything about this, right? She wasn't sent out there on a call or anything. If she got sent out there on a call, you know, there would have been some kind of cleaning up that had to be done. She'd had to get on the radio and say, ah, I went to the wrong place or subjects not here or whatever. She just bangs on the door and is like, where's Tracy? Like, I don't know. Can you smell her twat? <laughs> you know? And, 
Well, you, but anyway, saw, no. you saw that video, though. What did you think about it? And he's hiding around the corners, and he does say sheriff's department and this and that, but he's ducking around, and people have been robbed that way by people saying they're the police. Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, like back, and it's it's gone on forever. Back when I yes. um, back in the late eight, back in the late eighties, when I was working for the smut shops, right? Um, there was a rash of that shit going on, and the cops don't give a fuck, man. They don't give a fuck if you know they're real cops or not, unless they have some departmental policy that forces them to verify. But um, they would come walking into the smut shop. They, you know, they'd send some vice cop in to rent a movie, and they never rented like any of the really degenerate shit they'd i mean not that all of it isn't but like they'd rent just regular ma they'd just rent regular man woman porn right because they're gonna have to watch it and they take it watch it with the judge and even though that business had been licensed to sell exactly that by the city or by the county they'd send the uniform cops in later and they just walk in and say i need your id and you couldn't be like, why, or anything like that, like you could if you were just a private citizen, because that's part of working in one of them places. They, they, they can come in, no matter how old you look, they can verify that you're whatever age to be working in there, right? And then a couple of days later, you'd have a warrant issued for obscenity. <laughs> and it, was, it was this whole shakedown thing, and they, they get paid shakedown money, and it'd all go away, right? Well, the supervisor of the place told us, look, these fucking cops come in here at 2 o'clock in the morning asking you for shit, you tell them that your supervisor and the owner said that you want to see their police ID because it's all over the news. There's a couple of guys with Dallas police uniforms, probably actually Dallas police officers, who are going around robbing businesses at night. And one person has gotten shot during this shit. And you tell them that your supervisor said do that, and that's why. Well, a few weeks later, they come in, and I said that shit to them. Like, no, I'm not showing you that. Fuck you. There's my badge right there. I said, like, yeah, the motherfuckers robbing people are showing that too. You know, but they don't care. But yeah, as far as what went on with that guy, he did. There's no way he didn't hear the cop scream that he was with the sheriff's department, right? Yeah, he definitely heard that. And the thing to do is not to answer the door with a gun in your hand. If there's any possibility that sure. it's a cop, if you're worried that it's not a cop, then what you need in your hand is your cell phone. And you call, you tell them I'm calling nine one one to make sure you're a cop. Cause I can't see you. Right. But if whenever, when a cop or any kind of law enforcement comes and knocks at your door, the thing to do is just ignore it. Don't just sit it. in the house and be That's exactly sit in the right. house and be quiet. Now, if they start banging on the door and saying sheriff's department, open up, we're coming in all that shit. Okay. You're going to have to open the fucking door. You're going to have to do something then. But if they just come knocking on the door, don't answer but no, don't answer it and, and just don't even let on that you're in the house because that you know it's it's, it's what your house or imminent threat, uh, right? Uh, well, when 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 they when they say that it's domestic shit going on, that lets them in yes, every time. Yes, and that's yes, what was yes, that, yes. that's what was that's true. what was going on with this. Okay, true. You know they had they had that they had that stupid fucking bitch that ran the apartment talking about oh I could hear him inside I could hear him get slapped and I could hear her screaming from or you know whatever it was she was telling him. And okay, well, why didn't you take him up to the right fucking apartment, you bitch? <laughs> you That's know? the other thing. It's a total, totally wrong place. Um, and yeah, you're right. The domestic that does give them the the intent to be able to go in. But uh, I was told from a young age never to open the door uh, for a police officer unless they had a warrant, uh, and never pay them any. Well, here here's the thing. Here's Here's the thing. If it's cops out there and you know it's cops out there, if you want to take it all the way, and I don't mean this in some kind of a fucked up no. way, if you want to take it all the way, if they got a warrant, they're coming in anyway, right? Yeah. Just sit down and sit down at your couch. You know they're cops. Don't have anything around you that might be construed as a weapon. And, you know, they might bluff that they have a warrant. They might bluff that they're coming in. You know, when it's like CPS and shit like that, this happens all the time, right? If they got a warrant and they can come in, they don't need you to open the fucking door. They can kick the door. Yes, so you just sit there on the you just sit there on that couch and wait for them to kick the door. When they come in, you be sitting there with your hands in the air because there is a chance <laughs> that they're not going to kick that door because they don't really have a warrant. That's correct. 
That's they, they can lie all day and say they have one. Well, police are allowed to lie. That's another thing people don't understand. Some people don't understand. Uh, yeah. Police are allowed to lie uh, and frequently do. Uh, throughout yeah. the whole booking process, interrogation, they can make up anything they want. Um, perfectly legal for them to do. They can say, this guy told us that, and you better tell us this, and they never got told that. Um, no, yeah. That's perfectly legal. The police don't have to tell the truth. <laughs> no, the, 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 Supreme, the Supreme Court has ruled on that. And yes. a lot of people a lot of people think that it's only a felony to lie to the feds, but you know, the feds are one of the are one of the few uh, uh, law enforcement arms that have a law that specifically like the law says lying to a federal agent, right? Yes. But if, if you lie to a cop, if a cop's asking you, where's this person, or did you do that, or who are you, and you lie to them, they can charge you with obstruction. And if and, and it's going to be the obstruction is going to be one of those compounding offenses. It's going to be a higher level offense than whatever they were investigating, right? So that can bump up to a felony real easy. But, um, yeah, the, the thing to do is shut your fucking mouth, right? Just shut your fucking mouth. Uh, if, if they, you know, if you're driving or something like that and they demand your ID, of course you got to give it to them or you're going to jail, you know? But if, uh, if you're sitting at the house and they come banging on the fucking door and they don't have any kind of reason, you know, then, you know, all that shit's up to you, you know, do your, do your research, uh, and don't be a sovereign citizen about the shit. Don't start quoting the articles of confederation, and shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, um, but you know, it, uh, one, once, once the cops go to talking to you, you just shut the fuck up. Don't say anything. Right? It, it, and yeah, I learned the you, hard you way. Tell not, you're not going to talk your you way tell, out of getting arrested. You're not going to talk to you. Just be quiet. Yeah, you tell them I, I'm, I'm, I'm not answering any questions. Uh, if you're going to keep questioning me, I'd like a lawyer. And and that's when they always trick uh, dumb people. They're like, oh, you're not under arrest. You don't have a right to a lawyer. Okay, well, compel me to speak then, motherfucker, because I'm not going to. That's right. You know? <laughs> I may not have a right to a lawyer, but. What are you? What are you gonna do? You gonna you gonna put a you gonna put a fucking you gonna put a nail under my uh, uh, under my fingernail me, or something? Talk? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. But don't ha don't have that conversation with him. I'm just <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. But the thing the thing that uh, spurred me to want to call him is this whole thing about Lauren Southern. I mean, what was that article from? That sounded like something uh, from Red Ux. That was um, that was from Unheard. I don't know some Heard. feminist. Oh, is that is that, an, is, is that is that another one of those? Uh, turf watering holes yeah but i think so mary <laughs> harrington some british um yeah former lib, yeah. lib uh, i don't even know really but F fucking fucking turfs the trans exclusionary radical feminists they still have hairy armpits and big giant bushes fuck them anyway they, uh, <laughs> lauren southern has always been a fucking whore always and she's always been full of shit and, uh, and like one of the most one one of the funniest things I ever did back at, back in like 2017, the big popular alternative video hosting site before BitChute became a thing was called PewTube, P E W Tube, and it was big. And and uh, and I used to joke that I was the PewDiePie of the thing because for a long time there, I would post videos that would just shoot to number one and they'd stay there for weeks, right? Well, the biggest video that I ever had. And I'll, I'll edit this for, you know, I know Rumble does have a TOS, whether people think so or not, uh, was titled Lauren Southern N-Word Lover. And <laughs> now that would get it taken down on Rumble, I ain't going to lie. But yeah, go ahead. <laughs> right. But, you know, I, 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 I made a music video to the David Allen co-song N-Word Fucker, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and I just... You know, did the old uh, Windows Movie Maker thing of, of having a, a, a slideshow of pictures of her and her black boyfriends and stuff sliding across the screen. And th that was like, you know, I, I had never been a fan of hers. And I was never a fan of any of the, these fucking... Well, it's not true. I, uh, I, I've always liked Faith Goldie, but she came on my show. Um, anyway, then, <laughs> she, got, she got fired for coming on my show and she never said a bad thing about me, so she's good. Uh, and I would never call her a roasty. However, um, the Lauren Southern was, it was always obvious. She was a fucking degenerate. Even when she was in her young, uh, her early twenties, it was funny. There was, they took a picture of her and, uh, 
Faith Goldie was there, and there was a couple other. There was that one I can never remember her name, but she was an American girl who in, who was a big influencer who ended up marrying that German guy from the AFD party, right? Oh, and, I know you're uh, talking about. Uh, yeah, Brittany something uh, it seems Brittany's, like, but uh, it, Seltzer, or starts with an S. Um, but yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Right, right, and and there was one other girl, and they were all like, you know, all the other girls were older than Lauren Southern, and they ran it through that AI thing. You know, it was like a picture in the sunlight out on the sidewalk, yeah. and they ran it through that AI thing, and and it showed above an actual age, uh, uh, and uh, apparent age. You know, the, the, what how old they look according to the AI, and Lauren Southern, you know, all all of the other girls, you know, it, it was actually being kind to them, saying they looked younger than they actually were. Lauren Southern is like thirty nine; <laughs> she was like twenty two <laughs> years old. I was like, this fucking, this coked out, wore out, uh, left out to dry whore. But, and, and the other thing is, you know, you're talking about her marrying the Fed, you know, to be a trad wife and everything. Well, it wasn't just that he was a Fed. Uh, he wasn't just an Australian. Um, uh, from everything I've read, uh, he's described as a gentleman of Asian descent. And, yes. you know, down in, 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 in Australia and in the UK, Asian could mean like you know, uh, dim, Indian, usually. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean dim sum ramen noodle That's not and what all it that. Means. No, no. <laughs> it means subcontinental. And so, what it means. Yeah. and so, and so, what we have now with Lauren Southern is you have the absolutely typical like bitch that you see, and uh, you know, on, on all these uh, screen capped tinder ads that people post because they're so fucking hilarious where it'll be some some bitch showing herself all whored up in one picture and she's like my baby's my whole life i need i need a man who'll take who who'll step up and take responsibility and it shows a picture of you know this this used up white girl and her el goblina and they're <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come right over there and take care of that beast, the abomination, and, and your whore ass. But <laughs> <laughs> where are my keys? Let me, hold on, I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I swiped. What is it, right or what? I don't know. It's right or left. Whatever, whichever. <laughs> I, I, I swiped it so fast the wind came off the phone. I love you already. But, but yeah, I mean, and the description for that article, literal trailer park, single mother with a, with a mixed race baby crying about how she can't make ends meet and her husband was so bad to her. I was like, man, fuck that bitch. Fuck that whore. She's a lying bitch. Uh, she <laughs> Agreed. We we will we will never know what went on in that fucking place. But if there's one thing I do know, okay. But let, let me just let me just explain this with a metaphor, okay. Yesterday or day before, I saw a video and I posted it on my Telegram. T dot me forward slash TKR official. Thank you. Uh, ah. I, posted it on, <laughs> I posted it on my Telegram because what it was was it was you know some American couple in there like one of these wildlife safari parks right and you're not supposed to get out the fucking car well it's, it's a husband a wife and they had their kid in the back son probably about 12 13 years old and the wife is arguing with the fucking husband and she gets pissed off so what does she do she gets out of the car and starts walking you know how them bitches do that especially I've when they're drunk or yes, something yes. yeah they'll, they'll jump out and and if you're smart you'll just you'll drive off for about five minutes and leave them out there alone i've done this and then you come circling back and they get in crowd. But what they do is they'll jump out of the car. I've been in, I've been like in the backseat of the car with a bro and some bitch jumped out and did that. And they just sit there and follow alongside them going two miles an hour. Like, oh, baby, please, baby, please get back in. But before this dude could be like, baby, please, baby, please. A 600 pound tiger runs up and snatches that fucking bitch up. Right. And, and I said, if she survives this, she's going to blame her fucking husband. It's his fault because he was mad. being an asshole. Yeah. yeah, it's his fault this tiger mauled her. But it's not because she. It's not because she was a completely illogical, emotional, impossible to deal with fucking bitch. This guy here, he is. This guy's trying to take his wife and his son out to the fucking safari park and look at the lions and the giraffes and the tigers and shit. This fucking bitch got something to argue about, right? <laughs> 
It's like, Mitch, can you just <laughs> calm up- down till we get out of the middle of the fucking jungle or <laughs> whatever the fuck? Yeah. Is. <laughs> I mean, well, look, at least at least they didn't get out like in Sheila Jackson Lee's congressional district or something. Let me tell you, I'd rather get out in the safari park. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there's some places in Memphis like that too. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, literally, literally, Hitler's asking if I saw you put Milo on blast. No, I didn't. But just as an aside. Um, I agree with uh, what you had, well, more what you were saying. Uh, uh, And I guess what Andrew Wilson was saying, though, to be honest, I wasn't listening as closely as I could have because I was in the middle of cooking and, uh, you know, trying to get something to eat before I do my last prep for my show tonight. But um, when these people, he's the perfect fucking example. When these people have some, these degenerates, him and like Roosh was another good example. When they have these conversions, Okay, it's fine to announce I have converted, but then I'll, you're immediately a fucking expert on everything, and you're everybody's supposed to accept that you're a totally changed man and start following you and supporting you as you know. In Milo's case, the big proponent of Catholicism, or in Rush's case, the big proponent of Orthodoxy, and all that. When everything that you have done before then, up to that fucking moment, has uh, uh, has been you know with Milo literal fucking. Well, Analism, yeah. right? Yes. Big proponent. <laughs> and uh, and like, if you have some kind of religious conversion, yeah, it's totally fine to say, "Look, I'm turning over a new leaf in my life." But the thing is, it's just like it's just like if you're an alcoholic and you try to get sober, you know, you need to shut up and listen more. You're not the expert, you know. You, you're right. gonna sit there. You're gonna sit there and explain how you've got two weeks sober, and you're gonna sit there and explain how it works to these that, people yeah. who've been in here sober for ten years, right? Yeah. But uh, oh, and also on the question of who's going to hell and all that, everybody, you're all going to hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see. The road is smooth. The road is smooth, and the gates are fucking wide. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> By the way, I see Ada Wolf. He said we should give Lauren Southern the old witch test. If she thinks she's a witch, if she floats, that means the problem is likely solved. Of course, in Roblox only. Uh, he said only. Well, because witches are made of wood, yes. right? Yes, yes. That's why they burn so well. But you know, they, <laughs> you know, if she you tie. Yeah, the test is you tie a you tie a stone to their legs and you throw them in a deep river. If they sink and drown, they're innocent. But if they float, they're a witch, and you have to burn them. Yeah, it seems like a lose-lose situation for the <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> well got to do something about all this fucking witchcraft, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> you know, it might, it, might not be fair, it might not be fair to the individual involved. I mean, it might not be in keeping with Anglo-Saxon common law or whatever. <laughs> But it will deter these horrors from dancing around naked at their fucking seances and shit. By the way, her whole story is complete <laughs> garbage. Uh, and the idea that she lived it rough out in the trailer parks and, you know, she was on food stamps. I know another female who'd spun this tale recently. I won't get into it for reasons, but uh, they were roughing it. And her family's extremely wealthy, and it was the same case. Uh, with this other person that I used to know, uh, and the idea that they're out there struggling and living in you know the de- depths of depravity and just barely making it out in the woods, like that's complete garbage. Listen, like, being a sing- being a single mother with a kid is a golden ticket, and that goes double in fucking Canada. Yeah. And, and like you said, she comes from a rich family, right? When she yes. was doing all that going on all that big tour in Australia and everything. She had a rich mama with her. Right. Yes, yes. And, uh, uh, and not only that, I mean, uh, you know, boo hoo, if true, I mean, the dude said, don't look, I don't want you to go up there. And he made her sign an affidavit. that She's going to bring his kid back. Well, it sounds like he had good reason to think she might not. It does. And it- because she in fact didn't. <laughs> and, and let me tell you something. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's a federal agent for one reason or another, but, but uh, you know, he's, he's got them detective skills. That bitch not going to bring my, she's not going to bring my baby back. Well, you know, the, but he, you know, he, he really did the right thing. If it's true that he said he wasn't interested in joint custody or anything, because he's down there in Australia and she's going to be up here ruining the kid. And if he, 
if he wants to be in that kid's life before it's 18, she's just going to use that kid to torture him. And he's so easily tortured because he's halfway around the world. I mean, I know you know where I'm coming from. I know Ethan. exactly where you're coming from, Asmodor, actually. I'm yeah. too well. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I know. I mean, it's a, it's a hard fucking choice to make. But, you know, depending on the, the only way that you can stop these bitches is if you can get absolute Adult. proof corn pop the bad dude one cent two dollars on they home. were running around cheating on you and you weren't or absolute proof that they're a drug addict or get them committed to an insane asylum or something that's the only way you can hope for any kind of a desirable outcome in a family court and even then it's 50 50. you're right uh yeah you have to prove there's some type of <laughs> drug addict or they like really mentally ill um you're at a get them thrown in prison or something get them thrown in the prison choir here brother like i you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know but to go ahead yeah but to get off of a to get off of a depressive uh, topic that i know has been beaten to death uh today um and and, and the, going back one of the one of the first big tells that started people and of course i mean the real simps they're never going to stop simping but the thing that got people really to wondering about her was back in like 2017 when she said something and some person in her replies on Twitter took it to be some pro Muslim thing. And they were like, and they thought they had her boy. Right. They said, Oh, you're just pro Muslim because you dated a Muslim. And they posted these pictures of her and this boyfriend she had that she had gone and done this cosplay shit with. And they, and I don't, I am not into fucking anime. I don't know what the characters are. People were all like, Oh, she's doing this guy, this girl. And he's doing that guy from this anime and all, but it was all very sexually suggestive and scantily clothed and in, in, in sex having positions and stuff like that. at some, at some, uh, cosplay thing in canada and her reply was lol imagine thinking that my half black half african catholic boyfriend is a muslim and i was like look at there look at there <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we have here by the way corn pot yeah. corn pot with a super chat says has southern been questioned on the cheating accusations to my knowledge no and i got uh, i wonder if i can find this in my email i was the one uh who put this out uh let me see if i can find it uh, because i got leaked uh, that she was actually before she announced her divorce or anything like that. Uh, let me see, Lawrence Southern. Um, let me see if I can find this. Um, before any of that got announced, um, I got an email from uh, a friend of her husband's friend, I believe, and he had told the whole story. I wonder if I can find this. I don't know if I'll be able to find it live on air, but I put it out uh, in public, uh, and it turned it out. It turned out to be, um, you know, he's went public with this stuff since then, uh, and it it turned out to be, um, to, in my opinion, um, what actually happened. That she got back into the game uh, of media, and that she was basically cheating on him, and he had seen some text and and this and that, and he was basically just like. Uh, be gone thought right uh and, yeah and, of course and uh and, and, and oh yeah I bet he was just impossible to live with that whole time while she was running around fucking some degenerate bisexual purple-haired blue-haired queer and i wonder if they did a threesome with the with the wife that left him <laughs> well you know there's a story out there that he um, actually, and this is pretty much public knowledge, that he uh, had an affair <coughs> with Lauren Southern and thought that they were going to be together uh, or that that was a possibility and that he was going to leave uh, Melina uh, for Lauren Southern and that she ended up calling that off. Uh, and, that's, that's, and, and, that, and that and Melina obviously was not pleased uh, that that was that was a possibility, uh, but that story pretty much uh, c confirmed. Uh, yeah, wasn't it, wasn't the deal supposed to be that they all just ran around and screwed whoever they wanted, but they stayed married? Yeah, like oh, so logic, so logical. 
Why, why even get fucking married? It, it, the whole thing, you know, and, and Lauren Southern, for, that shows you how stupid fucking destiny is. Because Lauren Southern is the archetypal, I will fuck whoever can get me some clout so I can make some more uh, simp bucks, right? And, uh, I mean, the minute the minute that she got enough clout from uh, from uh, destiny, she's going to be done fucking him. She's, she's going to be on to, the, to whoever's got more clout than him, and there's plenty of those. Right. And uh, uh, the other thing, like Destiny, Destiny is liberal as he is and everything. He probably sat down like and he, he wrote down Melina and then he wrote down Lauren and he started adding them up in his mind. And he, he would draw a black Corn cock the bad beside each name for everyone that they thought they'd both taken. And, and and he decided he decided Lauren Southern had probably taken a few less. So he'd try to go with her. But oh, but the thing was her, her her big cuff her big comeback. Remember her big comeback was when she made that fucking four or five hour video of her sitting in the woods. Yeah, 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 talking about how every single fucking person in the world that she had ever interacted with had all been snakes. They'd all done her dirty. They'd all fucked her out of money. Some of them had promised to love her forever and left her high and dry with a sore butthole and ran off with the next E girl or whatever. And it was the, it was the most obvious cringe fucking shit. And the thing about that article that's so full of shit is Lauren Southern is not trying to, uh, like she's not, signaling that she's some kind of a liberal or a feminist now but she's always been one that's the thing all these conservatives and 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 especially these conservative whores and especially the ones with, with like boomer husbands and and i hate to say it my generation but gen x husbands and stuff like that right they're feminists they don't even realize it because they think women should be voting they think women should be running for office and all that, all that like look if it wasn't for if it wasn't for feminism, Christy Nome's dog would still be alive because her <laughs> husband would have made that decision. Uh, right? Chris, Chris, Christy Nome was having a heavy flow and wanted to kill something, and poor poor Cricket or whatever his name was. But like, uh, you know what what business? Uh, to, oh, she I'm so conservative. I'm co I'm so conservative. Make me your governor. Oh, you want to be governor? Bitch, you're ipso facto not conservative. What are you conservative? <laughs> By the way, Fresh let me. Garden sent three let, dollars let me read Larry. these out. I'll, I'll, I'll read these um, these out. I, I, okay. I just stopped them because we have guests today. I usually would just let them play over, but uh, Corn Pop says, "LOL, you get the trad wife for a trad life just to be trad fucked." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, you can't. The thing is, you can't have a trad wife. Who, who, if she had as many dicks sticking out of her as she had stuck in her, she'd look like a porcupine. You ain't going to turn that trad. Yeah, you can find that out the hard way. But uh, now I... I have! <laughs> I've heard of some people who have. Uh, Fash Gordon, uh, with a super chat, said, um, Lauren should go on a girls-only camping trip with Mama JF, is what, is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Mama JF still not heard from, huh? No, she hasn't been actually. Well, you know, she, you you know, she's crazy like that. She, if Mama and JF want to disappear from the world the and everybody stands. and her family and all worry about her that she's dead, you know, <laughs> she's funny like that. Uh, <laughs> Definitely killed her, didn't he? Like I can't even. Like this guy actually like got away with the perfect murder, did he not? I mean, I hate uh, to even think that, but like, I, how can you come to any other conclusion? Uh, the bitch is a retard. How can she just disappear off the face of the earth uh, without you know disappearing off the face of the earth? Right? Like I, uh, I think she's somewhere with Cricket uh, right now. Is where I, is where I yeah. think she is. Well, you know. Uh, Oh, we have incoming chat from Jeff Garipi, number one fan, for $10. <laughs> Jeff, you are the only person in the world who could kill his wife and get away with it and make content of it. <laughs> You're so right. He did. I mean, yeah. allegedly. We don't know that he killed her for sure, I'll say. No, but like, no, I don't he know that he killed her. But he did for sure. Yeah, go ahead. Well, he did get he did get that super chat, and that's how he answered yes. it. <laughs> you know you're right. You know I could. 
<laughs> yes, you know, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, they have been parked in the street in front of my house uh, for the last four months. But they assure me that I am not a suspect. <laughs> <laughs> he talked about him harassing him like over Christmas or something, too, and uh, and all this or that. He's definitely a suspect, in my opinion. I don't know if he's officially been named one. Uh, but uh, No, dude, if... If you're if if you're romantically involved with a woman who goes missing, you're you are the suspect. prime fucking yes. suspect. Yeah, <laughs> that's all there is to it. Yeah. Well, you don't. Oh, yeah. it's okay. I can talk to the road. police because think my I am JF Garipi, super genius, and I will lead them down. I will lead them down a trail that they will that they will never come back from, just like a mama JF. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Larson Stan said, Asmador, have you ever been on the Good Old Boys podcast? Is what Daniel Larson Stan said. No, I'm not even familiar with that. Okay, he, th he thought he had heard you. Uh, so if, if, if he think, if he thinks uh, it's something that I uh, should go on, it might be good. I might go try to find it and listen to it. Uh, Ada Wolf says, do you think Mama JF is out there somewhere naked riding her bicycle and tagging up a storm with her spray paint? I wonder if JF let her take her stuffed parrot for company. Uh, uh, may, maybe in the afterlife. I don't know. Man, uh, I don't know if he really <laughs> killed her, but the way he leans into it so much and the way she just fell off the map completely, like, uh, Well, know, the man. crazy thing is, and, and if he's telling the truth, it shows you like that and and yeah he may be like a genius when it comes to whatever you know whatever field he was in and all that but i mean it's the dumbest fucking thing if i was with some woman and she said look i'm gonna leave you i'd be like if i didn't want her to i'd be like are you sure I, i'm against that and she's like nope fuck you i'm leaving i'd say okay bye like, okay look well i'm leaving you and i'm gonna go hitchhiking and i'm gonna join up with this uh group of uh survivalists hiding out in the woods and uh you know i don't know what continent i'll up on or anything but why don't you drive me out to a random truck stop and dump me off i'd be like no fuck you you find your own way out of here i'm not <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, no what so i can be suspect number <laughs> yeah. one in your murder yeah no i don't think so <laughs> yeah, yeah as, 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 a, as a matter of fact i want the police here now uh <laughs> <laughs> to get your stuff so you can get your stuff and walk out of here and everybody knows that when you show when you turn up missing i had nothing to do with it you know i'm sure mama jeff is fine i don't know that she's dead but god almighty i mean her parents and like her family and stuff i don't know if it's her parents but her family and stuff months and months ago were begging her in the media please 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 just contact us and let us know you're okay and the only person that has allegedly ever contact she's ever contacted was JF like, oh, well, you know, I got the text message uh, from her and it's in the general vicinity of the place in which I dropped her off. Well, my God, that's convenient. She was still hanging out around the truck stop two days later where <laughs> I saved the, her cell phone and made it the text from the spot. <laughs> yeah. And literally that's true. That's the only contact that they've had from her since. And it was, uh, I mean, you know, I, it literally sounds like some perfect murder type shit. Like, I, and again, I don't know that yeah. he actually did it, but like, um, I don't either. And I, I hate but, to accuse people yeah, that I don't know I, and all, but I mean, this is this is crazy shit. Like, you know, this is one of those cases like that fucking preacher last weekend who went and gave a whole sermon, and then at the end of the sermon, he got all teary and all. Is like, I want to let everybody know. We're not going to have altar call today. We're not going to try to save souls today. We're not going to have altar call today because my wife is dead. Uh, she committed suicide. Uh, as you all know, she was crazy. And uh, <laughs> I got the word last night that she had killed herself. And then, you know, people go to looking into it. And, like, she texted her sister and says, if I end up with a bullet in my head, my husband did it. And she, and she had just filed for divorce and everything. And everybody's like, well, now let's not jump to conclusions. I'm like, yeah, I, I feel like this is pretty conclusive. <laughs> but, but, yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't the, know. By the way, uh, let's see. I want to see if there's anything. Um, first off, just uh, what you first jumped in on. Did, did you think that was a justified shooting um, by the police officer? Man, no. I, I think that it would have been justified for him to – 
whip his gun out and scream at him yes. to drop that gun, and if he didn't do it in half a fucking him. second, yes. to shoot him. Yes, yeah. I agree with that. I, 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 you know, there's a, there's a, there was a some. I can't remember if he was a white dude or a Latino dude, but it happened a couple of weeks ago, and this is one of these always whore wife got him killed things, right? He was arguing with his wife, and he hadn't touched her. He was drinking. He hadn't touched her, and he's like. Bitch, keep it up. I'll slap the shit out of you. Something like that, right? Yeah. And so she calls 911. This dude's like in his 50s, maybe 60s, something like that. And uh, the cops come banging at the door. And he's in his kitchen with an AR-15, but he doesn't have it up pointed at him or anything. And there, you know, drop the gun or anything like that. It's two or three cops just unloaded on his ass. It wasn't seven shots. It's like all of them, all of the shots, right? And killed him. And the wife's sitting there going, oh! Oh Lord! Oh no! Don't kill him, like, bitch! You you caused this, right? But but yeah, they, I mean, you know, the cops are always like, "Oh, we're so brave. We're the thin blue line and everything." And and I will admit that nowadays, because of the uh, policies of, of both the left and the bullshit ass Republicans, you know, Mike Johnson famously was crying about George Floyd and all that, right? But um, but mainly the policies of the lead and all these court cases and everything, the cops are starting to get killed here and there, but their job ain't near as dangerous as they make out that it is. And they, they're loaded for bear and they've got the most important weapon in all of civil society. They've got the backing of the state to do whatever the fuck they want to do to you. Right. And, and on top of that, they got body armor and they got hollow point bullets and they got AR 15s and all this other shit. And, but they, they, Starting back around the around the nineties or so, they started getting trained that the people were the enemy. And like I remember my old grandpa, God bless him, rest his soul and everything, he was like eighty nine. And this would have been about nineteen ninety four, ninety five, whenever it was. Um he used to go he he grew this huge garden. He had been a farmer when he was young before, you know, he got a job in industry that paid better, but he always had these massive gardens that were as big as farms. Right. Yes. And he would, and he would go around and well, and, and like everybody wanted to buy his tomatoes. He'd make a shitload of money selling tomatoes uh, on the side. And when he got old, he'd, he'd be selling his tomatoes, but he'd also load them up and he'd get in his truck, a little Ford Ranger and he'd drive around to the restaurants so the restaurants would buy them from him. And whether he was doing that or not, he'd get out, as, as old people do, I, hell, I'm just 57, and I find myself doing this from time to time. You know, you go driving around in the old spots, and you're like, yeah, there's a house I grew up in. And there's a school, whatever, right? You know, he'd get out and drive around a little bit every day. Well, he's driving one day, and there's no way that anybody wouldn't know that that's like a nearly 90-year-old man because he was bald as fuck, and his ears were huge. You know, <laughs> old men's ears get yeah, big and all. Get bigger, yeah, yeah, and and they. The cop, this cop pulls him over. And the reason he pulls him over is because he was going too slow, allegedly, right? And this is in Little Town, Palestine, Texas, as well as where he's from, where, where he was born like nearly 90 years ago. And he sits there and he waits and waits and waits and waits. And finally, he's like, What in the hell is going on? He turns around and looks. And this fucking cop is standing beside him, leaning all over, trying to look behind his seat and shit with his gun in his hand. <laughs> afraid of this 90 year old man that he's just pulled over i've had a gun pointed at me uh i bought a bag of weed and it was a setup uh yeah. and it was a drug dealer that was on like the police payroll right to give him a few bucks here or there and they would let him sell weed and um this is when i was a teenager and i happened to be with my friend and his pregnant girlfriend <clears throat> well i gave her the weed and she stashed it in her pussy and the one place they won't, they would never search, right? But they saw us buy the weed, so they knew we they yeah. knew we had it. Like they knew we bought the weed, like because it was a setup buy from the start. He came up to my. That was window. a good girlfriend, by the oh, way. Oh boy, she's a legend. I still <laughs> thank her to this day. Uh, even though they broke up, I, I'm still fr I haven't talked to her in a while, but I'm still friends with her to this day. Uh, yeah. It, but, it, it, but the, it, that's one you know get get a girlfriend who get a girlfriend who loves you enough to put your narcotics in her twat that's right i'm sorry that's right because they're gonna arrest us all uh and so uh the cop came up to my window with the gun pointed at my fucking head on on a fucking dime bag weed buy 
Uh, and that's how <laughs> that's how uh, it was treated uh, in my. Where situation. was this? This was in West Memphis, Arkansas. Uh, yeah, it, it was. was like that in East Texas when I was coming up too, yes. man. The cop, the, it, the the cops would. And he had his finger on the trigger. A, yeah, yeah. The cops would the cops would treat a teenager in, in a fucking Def Leppard t shirt who smelled like weed, like he was a fucking oh, terrorist yeah. with a with a with a. It was a black cop too, or and they searched me high oh, and low. They're the worst. Oh no, no, they're almost as they're trying to prove they're themselves. They're almost as bad as women cops. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they're, they're almost as bad themselves. as women cops. But they searched me high and low. They even like grabbed my pants and like pulled them out a little bit to see if like the weed was in there. Like technically illegal search, uh, and couldn't find anything. Oh yeah, what's was... this? That's my penis. Sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they did it uh, with my back, like facing like. Um, where my back was in front of the police camera, uh, so it couldn't be seen, the illegal search that they were doing. Uh, but she had a yeah. pussy the whole time, uh, and they never found anything. They had to let us go, and they were enraged. It was like an hour and a half of them trying to find this weed, <laughs> uh, and they just could not yeah. find it. Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, says, Well, Asmador, when George died, I realized he autodidact never penetrate me, and it brought me to tears. And to be honest, then an <laughs> orgasm with my adopted son. Uh, is what uh, yes. His, yes. His, his, black, his black adopted son who, you know, who proves that there's racism because he's just as handsome and just as smart as his white son. But his white son is, uh, a, you know, a cadet at the Naval Academy, and his black son is like a 12-time felon or something. Yeah, I believe That's he is. all because of the color of his skin, yeah. By the way, this is the email. I found the email about Lauren Southern. It was from July 18th, 2022. And it's, uh, hello, Ralph, love your content. I won't reveal the name. He says, FYI, there's word that Lauren's husband is officially divorcing her. I have a friend that is friends with one of his close friends, and apparently he is pretty open about that fact with people and just says that she sleeps around when she travels. She might even be pregnant with a baby. <laughs> that, of course she does. <clears throat> and she was rumored, this is rumored to have been Destiny's possible pregnancy here, by the way. She might even be pregnant with a baby that isn't his, and that was the cause of the breakup. They've been separated for over a year, and Lauren is just embarrassed and worries about the optics of it, being a conservative and a Christian and all. She published publicly pretends they're still together and continues to wear his ring, even prevents him from being involved with his son. These are all things her ex-husband has said. Uh, and I put that news out in 2022, and of course she denied it and everything. And then she turned it into, oh, he's the one that didn't want anything to do with with, uh, with his son's uh, life, and that's her spin on it now. Uh, but oh I got yeah, that like like there's tip. a like yeah. there's a fucking like there's a fucking thing he can do with the kid up there in Canada and his ass down there in Australia. Right. And, uh, I, feel, I feel the struggle. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just I, I just wanted to find that email and I was able to locate it. So, uh, man, I'm glad yeah. that you got to come on tonight. Uh, and we got yeah. To one more thing. Bit. One more point that yeah. I'd like to make. I'm pro whorehouse. I have a lot more. When I say whore, I don't mean these whorish sluts running around uh, that are just regular women. But you know. Uh, uh, an honest whore. And by honest, I mean, you're like, I will pay you for the, how much for the following sex act. And they say, that will be this much. And you say, okay, here is this much money. And they perform said sex act, right? I have a lot more respect for them than I have for these lying whores like Lauren Southern. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Promote your show, <laughs> brother. Uh, and let's do something. Okay. Uh, tonight at 10 Eastern, 9 Central. Seven Pacific. The lobby's already posted over on my channel. Um, we the Friday night special. So you know, it, I imagine watch it on replay, of course, have, though, because I'll still be on the air. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, damn you, Ralph. They, they can't, they can't, they can't tip me on replay. That's that's a, that's a, that's a real suck ass thing about Rumble. <laughs> that's true they can't. But uh, you should get on yeah. Power Chat. You know, there's some other uh, other options there. Yeah. Uh, I've I've been I've well uh, never mind I don't want to go into it on the air but <laughs> <laughs> okay I understand uh, yeah I understand. yeah but uh, all right well yeah it was, you, it was cool coming on man yeah I I, I just happened to catch you uh, talk you were talking about Lauren Simonson and uh, <laughs> and uh, then then the thing with the cop and I thought oh shit man I better call in there. I'm glad you got in. Uh, it's good to talk to you. Uh, and let's talk again soon. Let's not make it so long next time. 
All right, man. All right, brother. You have a good one. You too. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.